This is code.org. I'm currently working on their CS Discoveries course. And then unit three of that course, I'm working on animation and games. Lesson five, which is on variables, part three. Let's see what we're doing. Instructions. Using variables. In this program, the variable x position is used to store the x coordinate of a, the circle. Do this. Run the program to see how it works. Change the number that is stored into the variable. Show me where. Yeah, what, what do they mean here? Let's double check. Oh, okay. And run the code again. Change the number. Oh, so interesting. I think VAR must stand for variable. So what they're doing here is, hey, computer, make a variable. They named it, they named it X position. And they set it equal to 50. All right, run the program. Okay, let's see what it will do. Oh, why is it so big? How is it over there? Where is it located? Here, I'm going to hit show grid. Okay, so X. And notice under show grid, it tells me where my mouse is. X is 50. Y is 350. So what was this? Oh, this is equal to X. Oh, so instead of using a number, right? Because this X position now equals 50, right? So this word's a variable. Sometimes in math, you'll see like a Y or a Z, right? Y plus 2 equals Z, okay? If Y plus 2 equals Z or uh, Y plus 2 equals 4, right? Y really means a number. Here, they're saying X position and they made a variable. It really means the number 50. So they're using it to control, oh, look, the X position. No wonder why they named it that. All right. Change the number that is stored into the variable okay so and if it's right there yep so don't change this that's right we want to change the variable um i'm going to change mine to 150. let's see oh and it moves it along the bottom right because it's moving over yep interesting cool oh okay i think that's great let's keep going 